743 is the time. We have Shivani Peterson with us right now. You're a mortgage lender in Reno, but you're talking much more than just loans. You're talking about the overall snapshot of 2020s. We're one month in. You see maybe some warning signs out there that maybe we might be headed towards a dip, a recession possibly. Well, the last it's not just me. The last article I read said that 84% of economists surveyed Mm -hmm. see a recession in the near future, 12 to 18 months out. We've been on such a roll. Yeah, the I stock mean, market's gone crazy since we hit the nadir back, what, about 2008 into 2009? Um, so you think the trend might dip lower this year. Um, when it comes to that, how can we recession-proof ourselves? I think it's a great time to do it, right? Because if a recession is still 12 to 18 months out, okay. why not get yourself financially set while things are still great? How do we do that? So step one, I would say, is use this current climate with interest rates mm -hmm. and how affordability is boosted in so many different ways. And you were saying rates just dipped again the last week, right? Yes. So I think take this opportunity to look and see, should you be buying instead of renting? And should, if you already own, should you be using your mortgage a little bit better? Should you be using it to consolidate debt? Should you be using it to free up monthly cash flow? Should you be trying to pay it off faster? Are you talking like a HELOC, like taking a second out? No, actually the opposite. So I'm saying if you already own your home and mm -hmm. you're not feeling like I'm financially killing it, there's right. other things I need to fix, mm -hmm. I would say look at your other debts. Do you have higher interest debts like a HELOC? Do you have credit card debt, student loan debt? Could you refinance your mortgage to eliminate those debts, consolidate them, and so then use the extra money that you save each month to refi, pay? Refi, free up cash, pay off the other debt. And then take the money that you're saving cash flow wise right. and reinvest it back into your mortgage. Let's get back into housing itself. I know you're not a realtor, but you deal with realtors and yeah, buyers yeah. and sellers all the time. Um, when you look at whether to rent or buy, what's basically to the dividing line there where you actually want to rent or buy? So this is my favorite question because it's not, it's not a single answer for every person, right? I think the right time to buy is a very personal and very specific question to you, not the market. Because okay. you can control yourself, you can control your finances, you can't control the market. So there's no formula that fits everyone? There is. There's plenty of formulas out there. I don't personally recommend using them. I think that you look at renting is never the goal. Buying is always the goal. Because you get the mortgage write-off, you're building equity. As soon as you can buy, do it. Don't keep renting. Don't wait for the market to time it right. When you can buy, when you can afford to stop putting money in the hole, renting, you should buy. So that's why it's personal to every individual or family. Yes. So how do you know that then for the individual? How do you no. counsel your clients? So we start, and we start way at the bottom, right? Let's look at just your credit. Okay. Let's try to get your credit in a good spot. Okay. Then let's have an emergency savings account and then let's save for your down payment. So get everything in order, get the credit cards gone, get a little bit of the savings going, then look at buying. Mostly yes. I mean, I wouldn't say that you need to have zero credit card debt. I just want you to have your monthly bills under control. I don't want you to have any accounts and collections. I want your credit score to be the best possible place it could be for you. Okay, good warning side as well, especially if we do actually get ourselves into a recession. Well, and if we get ourselves into a recession, I don't think we need to panic about home values, especially in Reno. Yeah. I think Reno's housing market is hot enough and stable enough that it would be an island during a recession. Good old supply and demand, right? Yes. Yeah. Shivani Peterson, thanks so much. Really appreciate your time. And by the way, uh, your series is on YouTube, yep. and it's called Recession Proof Yourself. So in very interesting. I watched those. Those are great. Shivani, thanks. Great meeting you in person. Yes. Yeah.